James, have you seen Joe? Yes, he left very early this morning. Scanners indicate he is with two other individuals. They are Malik and Azrin. They are on the way to watch the first paddy planting of the season at Philip's family farm. I have reminded him to be extra careful near those agri drones. They can be quite a handful. Joe's mom, ever the perfectionist, was preparing for her trip to Moa to meet Joe's dad. It was agreed that since James was around, it would be quite all right for her to go for a short trip to catch up with the real man of the house. She smiles thinking about how Joe had this strange notion as being in charge. James, please make sure that Joe comes home early and not get into trouble. You know how he is. And above all, keep him clean and fed. Of course, Pa. I will do that. I believe your transport drone will be here shortly. I shall be leaving shortly to keep an eye on him. Have a safe trip and see you tomorrow. Planting season has always been a period marked by festivities and celebrate good tidings, good weather, incident-free planting and eventual bountiful harvest. Philip's family farm is no different. According to him, the celebrations can be traced back to his ancestors from southern China. Today, like all the previous planting seasons before, is full of cultural festivities centered around food, glorious food, village delicacies, handmade ingredients, and centuries-old recipes. Philip knows that his gang of three would be arriving soon, probably hungry and eagerly awaiting to scoff down the handmade creations. He, however, has plans for his gang. They need to earn it. Haha. <laughs> they ran, jumped, and skipped their way to the farm whilst having happy thoughts of digging into the food and generally causing mayhem in Philip's home. The last time the gang of four descended on their members' home, pure mayhem erupted. This time around, Philip would be ready. Here they come. Malik was the first to arrive. He was always the fastest amongst all. Hi, Philip. Are we late? Has it started? Are your parents home? Philip smiled and pulled Malik away from the entrance just as the other two made their way to where Malik was standing. Hi, guys. Right on time. Follow me. My dad needs our help in the field. All four of them began moving in a single file towards the edge of the field where numerous drones carrying payloads of seed and plant materials can be seen coming out of a medium-sized shed with walls that look like those old corrugated steel sheets and a roof that had multiple solar panels to generate power. Philip gestured to the team to make their way into the shed where his elder brother was waiting holding what looked like four small brooms about the height of all four of them. Azrin shot an angry glare at Philip, who nonchalantly gestures to all of them to take a broom each from his brother. Guys, a bit of work will get your appetite running. Dad needs our help to chase the crows away from the planting drones. They keep swooping in, gobbling up the seedlings. He needs us to chase them away with these. Philip greens and hand them to the brooms. He escorts the unhappy trio out to the field and shows them how it should be done. Malik the Quick takes his task with gusto, shooing the crows away from the seedlings and a smallish swarm of crows began circling. His bravado looked destined to fail as the moment he chases one crow away, the others dive in to replace. The other gang members began pitching in but to no avail. The bird began cawing as if to call for further reinforcements from other avian friends. These little humans are causing much distress would be a close approximation. What began as a friendly and fun way to help became one of desperation. As the gang began lunging and shouting, the loudest of course is Malik. Philip's family members looked on with worry as they have never witnessed this type of frenzy from the birds before and they looked highly intelligent. A loud, shrill, suddenly boomed from above. It was James. He had come at the time when Joe needed help the most. But curiously, instead of scattering, they began forming and attacked the source of the sound. James! Philip! Ask your dad for help! Hurry! James was chased by the birds as he tried as best as he could to evade their attacks. Before long, other security drones began descending to diffuse the situation and suddenly like a light switch, the birds began flying away as if by command. What was that? 
The birds, they're flying away. Look, Azrin points to a large orb above the drones and the birds. Its silent stance and eerie presence made it look mysterious. What is that, quipped Joe? Everyone in the field and its vicinity froze at the sight of this strange orb floating high above the angry drone surrounded by the crows. The strange dance of the crows around the orb made for a spectacular sight this early in the morning. The black shiny orb floating quietly was disconcerting to those that were viewing it, including the intrepid gang of four and a drone called James. <laughs>